Okay, today we'll be opening up and comparing this Motocraft oil filter, number FL300, to this 47-year-old Lee oil filter, number LF16. So today we'll take a trip back in time, back to the year 1977, when you could go into your local auto parts store and buy this Lee FL16 oil filter, come back home, and install this oil filter on your new, back then, 1977 Ford Mustang II. Yep, the one with the 2.8 liter V6 engine. Let's compare these two oil filters and see how they look. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicon. Be nice and tight. Get your end of here. Filtration. Okay, so let's start with this Motocraft oil filter. And you got the size here. There's really not much information on this box, at least not any important information. So let's take a. Let's open this box up and take a look at this filter. The date code, 904062012. And this is all printed on. Right here we look, it says, Made in USA. And this filter has six elongated inlet holes. It's got a metal core with louvers. The bypass valve was right here at the base end. Three grooves there for threads. And a nitro rubber gasket. It looks to be a nitro rubber any drain back valve also. Okay. Now let's take a look at the Lee oil filter. And I haven't opened this filter up yet, so I'm gonna be as much as a surprise as you guys. But I say it's a 1977 filter because that's the last year that it shows the dates for what this filter fits. You can see all these vehicles that this filter is made for. You look right here, we'll see Motocraft, it replaces the FL300. Oil filter code, warranty, and right here I found an address. 1974 Lee Filter Edison, New Jersey, zip code. Made and printed in USA. Okay, so that's about all the information on this box, and uh, let's open this filter up. Okay, so let's see, we got the sticker on here. This is a sticker, color-coded, make of car. Okay, we don't care about that. Installation instructions, made in USA. Oh, I don't see a date code. Okay, yeah, I don't see no date code here. Oh, you can see a little rust here though. And this has three Six, eight inlet holes. Looks to be a nitro rubber anti jank back valve. Metal core with holes. Now this one looks to have a bypass valve also up here on the base plate. Okay, and a nitro rubber gasket. And two different kinds of style of base plates. And the leaf filter is a little bit taller. Okay, let's open these two filters up and see how they compare inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. Motocraft, 372.4 grams. The Lee oil filter, 376.4 grams. Now let's take a look at the gaskets. The Lee oil filter gasket on the right, Motocraft on the left. I can get it to focus here. Come on, focus in here. There it goes. The Lee is a little bit thicker. I'll put the thickness up on the screen. It's a little bit thicker gasket. Okay, and the base plate. So we'll go over the Motocraft next. 167.2 grams. The Lee, 176.9 grams. Okay, let's take a look at these base plates. To get the grooves. The Lee actually has one more groove than the Motocraft. The inlet holes I would give to the Motocraft. Get some rust here, but you know, you can expect that. Rust out on the outside here. And these you can see, these are like spot welded. 
Yeah, I think the motorcraft's a better better base plate except for the groove. It could use an extra groove for the threads. And ain't any back valves. Both nitro rubber. About the same size also. And the motorcraft here has this white stuff on it. It's probably just, you know, they put this on it during the when they're making it. Production process, I should say. Let's check them out. Okay, they both cover the inlet holes nice. And a filter element. Motorcraft, 116.2 grams. Leo oil filter, 97.9 grams. All right, let's take a look at the motorcraft. We got a glued seam right here. And the pleats, they're all over the place here. You got gaps everywhere. The gaps in there together, gaps. And this motorcraft filter has 50 pleats. It's a cellulose polyester media with a micron rating of 95% for particles greater than 30 microns. Got a little extra glue here. See the bypass valve right here. This side's clean. Yeah. So a little extra glue. And I don't like the, the spacing on these pleats. Let's take a look at the Leo filter. Okay, you got the metal end caps right here. Is the bypass valve. Camera's having a hard time focusing today for some reason. You can see this is spot welded in. Metal end caps here. And a little extra glue also. Right there, there. And right here's the seam. The seam in, in here. It's like overlapped. And this filter, you know, I don't have the specs on it. It's probably a cellulose. You know, paper. Paper. It's probably a paper media. And I don't know what the micron rating is. But this filter has 55 pleats. And they're a little better space than the, the motorcraft. You can see some extra glue here coming off. All right. And they both have stamp leaf springs. Look a little different, but work the same. It's actually, this one's... The leaves actually like painted underneath here. It's a white, painted white. Okay, and the cans, the Motocraft, 69.1 gram. The Lee, 84.5 grams, quite a bit heavier. It's a bigger can, but it's also a thicker can. I'll put the measurements up on the screen. And the inside of the can's pretty clean for being as old as it is. Yeah, the Motocraft is a thinner can. And let's get the width of these filter elements. The Motocraft. 2.53 minus a tenth of an inch. And the Lee oil filter is quite a bit wider. 3.19 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. So this Lee oil filter on the right is going to have a lot more filter media, I think. They're deep pleats also. I think they're deep pleats. All right, well, let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here are both filters all stretched out, and they just barely go over the table. And the Motocraft is 67 inches long. The Lee oil filter... Is 80 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter, Medias. The Motorcraft filter is 
1.00 millimeters even and the leave oil filter is 0.7 uh, battery must be going dead 0.69 millimeters for the Lee oil filter a little bit thinner here's the filtering side back side and if we take a look at these guys under a microscope you can see the motorcraft looks like, looks like it would do a better job of filtering this Lee filter's got a lot of a lot of light spots in it. a lot of you know looks like Swiss cheese so let's take a look at at that picture So as you can see, the motorcraft filter looks like it'd do a better job of filtering. But you get a lot more square inches, like something like 85 square inches more filter media with the Lee. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So here I would give them a tie with the leaf springs. The gaskets, I mean the, the Lee's a little bit thicker. But they're pretty much the same. Any drain bag valves, I'd give them a tie. I like the the leaf filter the base plate here because it got the extra groove. I mean that's I don't even know if that's three grooves. It almost looks like two grooves there. It looks you know, it depends how you turn it. But that should, that it looks like it should have like an extra groove. But I like the I like the inlet holes on the motorcraft. So I don't know, maybe I'd give these a tie. Uh I like the bypass valves on both of these. Now you got little holes here. These are little holes. I mean, they they could they could have made these holes a little bit bigger. And you got louvers here. So let's take a look at these louvers. Can't really see it good because uh, well, flashlight seems to work until I put the camera on. <laughs> okay, you can see those are opened up, anyways. So that's fine. And the can, cans I'd give to the Lee also. It's a thicker thicker can, so I'd give that to the Lee. And then coolness-wise, I mean, which box which box would you like? Especially in the back here. We got all the vehicles it lists. You gotta say, they did make the boxes a lot more, a lot more better back then. One thing I noticed about the filters that they made back then, every time I open an old filter up, the filter media itself seems to be like Swiss cheese. So I don't think they had very good micron ratings back then on their filters. So what do you guys think about this 47-year-old Lee oil filter? And with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, oil filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Motorcraft filter media weighs 20.8 grams. The Lee filter media weighs 18.8 .8 grams.